Welcome back. So glad to have you guys here again. Today we're making something super simple. The twist is today I'm, I'm going with some beefless ground. I'm trying to cut down on my meat consumption. So this is something that I just picked off from Trader Joe's. And I want to say everything that we're going to make today is coming from Trader Joe's. So it's, it's pretty cool to get all these things in one place. It's going to be super, super simple. We're going to make a baked ziti with a bolognese sauce from Trader Joe's. We're gonna be doing a little a little bit of a twist on my cheese option. I'm gonna be using monster cheese. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna be cutting that up and placing that in the big CD. So here we go. First, I'm gonna just start off by cutting half an onion. And you can obviously cut it however you want. Get a little bit of your oil of choice. Get that into your pan. Make sure your pan is hot. You don't want too much. And put as much onion as you want. And you're gonna add your minced garlic. So you've added your uh, onion and garlic, and now you can go ahead and add your meat of choice. Today's choice of protein is going to be meatless ground. Go ahead and get that in there. You couldn't tell me this one ground beef, people. You couldn't tell me. It's, it looks just like it tastes similar once you get your seasonings in, in which we're about to do. This is my secret ingredient. Every time I'm making any pasta, any time that I'm making something that I want a little bit of kick or I want some hot pepper, this is amazing. This, is, this stuff is really amazing. Be very light on it. Half a tablespoon or so goes a long, long way. Pasta of choice. I love them. I love the big ones. I love these. These are my favorite. Now that we have our pasta already cooked for about 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and assemble. So I like to start with a little bit of the sauce on the bottom, just so everything doesn't stick. And then we're gonna go in with half of your pasta. Then we're gonna go with a good layer. Get that mixed in. And then get your cheese of choice. My favorite cheese is monster cheese. It melts so well, it, it's almost like a smoked gouda with cheddar on it.
in your final layer of cheese. You can make your choice of cheese, but be generous. This is going in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until you see your cheese is to the point that you enjoy it. Put this in for about 15 to 20 minutes or until your cheese is properly melted. I'll see you here in a second for a taste test. Now that we've had our ziti in the oven for about 10 minutes at 400 degrees, this is the product result. Look, look how cheesy that looks. That's monster cheese that has been put in the middle and on top. I'm just gonna go right on in and see what we get here. Here we go, I am excited to try this. One of my best dishes ever that I love, love remaking over and over again. Only took us with prep about 15 to 20 minutes and this is what we got. Oh. Mm. Mm. That was absolutely amazing. The cheese pool, y'all, y'all see it. Y'all see how that came out. Now, I've made this several, several times, but this is probably my best one. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's see what we're gonna make next. I got, I got a couple October recipes that I'm gonna share with you guys, so excited to see you guys on the next one. Taking this with me. Later.